shouts out to Courtney Ryan. Courtney, if you're watching this video, will you please, please respond to me? Will you please rate me? What am I on a scale of 1 to 10? You look good. You are 9. Maybe, maybe 9.5. Am I good looking? If I if I had my hair transplant, I'd be good looking. You see how I look? If I could lose this weight and get my hair transplant and get my missing tooth field in and look like this right here. No, not the, this is me before. This is me after my Photoshop. God. Yeah. How do I look there? If I look like that, would I be good looking? As I look right now, before my Photoshop, am I good looking? Please tell me the truth. Please don't have me. Please, Courtney, I beg you. Don't have me this shit. Looks don't matter. You'll find the right person somebody today. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. Please spare me that blue pill bullshit. And give me the red pill. I plan to get cosmetic surgery one day. I'm a failed aspiring rapper trying to make it with some one songs. I get a hair transplant, some lipo, cool sculpting, a tooth replacement, and I'm still a lot good looking. Maybe reconstruct my face. Because I would give 20 years of my life to be a hot foxy guy. Could I be Foxy? Am I Foxy? Am I, am, am I good looking? We please answer the question. We please get you girls to rate me with what I ask you to do. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're here. back with another He's a Ten video. If you didn't see the last one, basically what I do is I give the girls a guy and a baseline number, and then I give them a statement that is either going to raise his score or lower his score, and they give a new number and kind of explain a little bit of how they got to that answer. So guys, let's not waste any more time, and let's get right into it. First is he's an eight, and he lives at wow. his parents. I think it depends on how old he is. You know, if perfect girl, blonde, tall, perfect face, perfect hair, long arms. Oh, in case you didn't know, I love it when a good-looking girl has long arms. But what really caps it off for me is that my forearms are longer than her. If I seen a girl, good-looking girl that's so good-looking, I'm looking at her. I'm thinking to myself, there's no way my forearms and arms can be longer than hers. And if I find out that my arms are and forearms are actually longer than hers, that just makes my that just gets my motor running. I don't need no sex. Give me that and get me get this this these girls to think I'm good looking, and I'm good to go. I'm not looking for a mate. I'm not looking for a girlfriend. I'm just looking for the girl who thinks I'm good looking, and can talk to me. We maybe want to want to come over and talk to me, be my friend. Yes, the friend zone. Just as long as she thinks I'm good looking, just yeah, platonic, yeah, a platonic relationship. Just as long as it's no platonically platonic. Platonic relationship means no sex. That's fine by me. But platonically platonic means you don't even think you don't even think I'm attracted. Girls, if you don't think I'm good looking, fuck off. I'm not interested. That's just the way it is. I'm telling you. I'm telling you the red peeled truth. Now you please tell me, me the red pill truth. Am I good looking or not? If I look like this. God damn it. Would I be good looking? Because if I had to, I'll sell drugs to look like this. I don't give a shit. You know, if you're like 35 and you're just living at home with your parents. You only live you once. Like Five or four, but if you're just saving I'd money, I'd rather be the to, hammer you know, than the nail. I don't think it really matters. Yes, so, I would. If I only fucking goddamn go holy goats could. Things. Sometimes that happens. It's I should always bad, but I feel like I said holy goats. I didn't say the name of the holy ghost. I said holy really goats. Doing much and hanging out like that just doesn't work with me. If only I, like, I was a good-looking good looking foxy guy, living in their own space, I'd get twenty years off my life. Yeah, it's definitely going down. Maybe we'll say he's young. Ladies, am I good looking? Would I be look good looking if I yeah, look like this? So I'm turning 24. Yeah. God fucking damn it. I just it. prefer someone to have their own space, honestly. Like, 
Even without roommates, I know that's hard and a lot to ask, but yeah. So what number would you give if you had to? Probably a five. God fucking damn it. Courtney, where'd you find all these good looking long arm girls? These perfect tens. No, these almost perfect tens. Y'all all all of y'all really so close to being perfect tens, y'all I call you all tens. Why in the hell do I have girls looking like why in the hell do I lo that are there no longer girls looking like this living in the cities I'm near? Why do all the girls why why all why are, 99.9% .9 of the girls who live around there are sluts and shit. Why are, there no, why are there virtually no girls who look like this around where I live? And when, you see, and when, I, when I do see them, when I try to talk to them, they just blow me off or ignore me. So when they do that, I cuss them out. I say, fuck you, bitch. I hope you get breast cancer. Cause I'm angry. It's not their fault. It's not my fault from not being good looking, but I had to get my rage out somehow. God, fuck it. And I'm angry at God. I'm angry at God. I'm angry that I'm not good looking. God, fuck it. Four. Yeah, okay. it's, go it's going down. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. So, number one is he's wow, an eight she's got and lives at arms. home with his parents. Ooh, she spit. Wow. Uh, I feel like... Okay, I'm going to be terrible at these. Wow, because look I feel at this. Like, look at this girl. Uh, I feel like... Okay, I'm going to be terrible. Are my form, are my elbow wrist longer than hers? How tall is this girl? She is... Ex right here, she is exceedingly good looking. All I ask, all I want from her is to... For her, her the truly thing I'm... A fox or a good looking, at least a nine or better. Preferably a ten, but you know, I'll take a nine. And for my elbow wrist to be longer than hers. And if she saw me, uh, you know, she doesn't even have to come sit down and talk with me just as I, as I, as I knew. That would be a bonus icing on the cake, but you know, it doesn't have to, doesn't have to happen. We can part ways and never see each other again just as long as she's thinking I'm good looking. <laughs> 